Okay, it looks like we got this up and working. Just plugged it in a little while ago. There was a problem with the screen. The screen, when I turned it on, was completely blue. And I couldn't see any lettering in it. So I went on YouTube and they said you have to adjust this little blue thing. And I did that before. And I turned it like five turns and I didn't see any changes. So they said you have to turn it like 10 or 15 turns clockwise. And I did that. And I just kept turning, and then I finally started seeing the lettering come through. And this is actually the second one, because last week, I had this one up there. And it gave me the same problem, so I figured there was a problem with it. So I ordered a new one, and the new one did the same thing. So that's when I went on YouTube, and I had to try to find out... Well, actually, I went on the internet to try to find out what's going on with this thing. And I really couldn't find anything. And I guess it's not really an issue. It's just the fact that you have to adjust this contrast knob. But anyway, it's, it's up and working. I'm really happy about that. I got this new motor controller it's different from the old one this is the old one and this is the one that you know they basically show in the video and this new one is missing a lot of features on it but it seems to be a new newer version and it seems to work so yeah, this one I got was damaged. I don't know if you can see that. But this, uh, I don't know, this electronic part here was damaged. Got a big old dent in it. And I wrote them about it. They just kind of blew me off. So I said, okay. Ordered it from somebody else. Never order from them again. So I got the power supply on. It's got 12 volts coming out of it. So, we'll turn this on. This is just like, uh, I just wanted to see if this thing worked. So I kind of like, you know, just hooked all the wires together. Got this little uh, thing here. I don't know what it is, but the drawing said I had to have it. So I put it in there. And uh, so I would turn it on and see now we got some lettering on there. That's pretty nice. All the lights are on. Motor's locked up. Can't turn it. Now this... Uh, this motor has a 5 to 1 reduction. I got the other parts over there. But I just wanted to put this together. And see if it worked, you know. Because once I put it in the box and start putting all the wires on it. It's going to be hard to, hard to look at it. So anyway, the screen says uh, select mode. Mode step. So we'll go to... Divisions. And we'll put in... Uh, we'll put in four. And there we go. Now you see the those set screw part here is sticking straight up. That's one and a quarter turns.
another one and a quarter turn yeah. looks like it's timing out pretty good for five to one ratio okay so we hit the we change the divisions to one and so that thing should rotate five times There we go. Five rotations. So it seems to be working. Pretty happy with it. So we can take it apart and eventually put it in the box. But we just wanted to make sure it worked. Okay. We'll Play with it some more later.